Okay, today Mercedes R170 um, gauge cluster light uh, replacement, as you can see on the speedometer at the right hand side of the speedometer and the left hand side of the tack is not lighting up, which means that bulb that lights those two areas up is gone. And uh, so we're going to replace it really quickly. Um, anyway, back in a minute, I'm going to get some tools and be back in a second. Okay, on the side of your instrument cluster, driver's side, this is where there's a fuse panel under here. You're going to take, I'm just going to use a dime, and there's these two little twist lock slots. Turn them so that they're vertical, and then you can pop that panel out. I'm just going to use the dime to pop it, <laughs> because they kind of stick. This one does anyway. see a screw right there, your flip screw. We're going to take that one out. In the... Yeah, don't hold your phone by the on-off button. Above the vent, you'll see right in the center, there's a little Phillips screw. out. That's all that. Out of the way. Underneath the steering wheel, right by the steering wheel adjuster, there's a single Phillips screw there. Oops. Why aren't you? Seems that just holding the case anywhere near my on-off button is turning my phone off. Okay, so we're down here by the adjust uh, the steering wheel adjuster, and then we go straight up beside the ignition. I'm gonna try not to turn off the phone one more time. other side. Oh, well, it looks like someone's already removed and left that one out because I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to get a trim tool and be back in a second to pop out this dash. So I just want to grab that screw and I don't know if I can do it. I can't get my finger in there. Come on out. Anyway, back in one second. Okay, screw out. Now, I'm going to start from the driver's side. Pull down. I have to do this with one hand. You know, luckily you have two, hopefully. And push. You're going to want to put, pull this up and this down at the same time because there's a little lip in there. It needs to. Oh, <laughs> I missed a part. Sorry. Once you pull the... Uh, Once you've taken that screw out, just grab the surround here for the vent and pop that out. Now pull up. See that little pin you gotta slide over? Then stick your fingers under, go along, and start popping. Oops, pop. Pop. That one popped. Okay, now carefully. You're going to watch the two, the, the dimmer and the clock buttons. You want to pull up. This is going to separate along this line and along this line. There's a little, there's little tabs in there that will separate. So you are pulling up and like I said, be very careful about that. And I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand. We'll see. Oh, nice. Other side. 
and then roll it forward. Okay, so now you can see the pop clips on the back right here. Those just pop up underneath the trim right under there. Uh, is that where they pop in? I don't know. They pop under there somewhere. Right there, 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 and oops, there. So now we're going to take the gauge cluster out with a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. You have one, two, three, four screws. Won't make you watch me do that. I'm going to pull those out and be back in a minute. Okay, four screws out. So now we're going to pop top down first to get it clear the edge of the panel here. Oh, before you do any of this, sorry, pull the thingy and adjust your steering wheel, pull it all the way back. And then we can just slide it out. And I am going to, I'm going to need another hand to do this. I need two hands to do this because I don't want to drop it. Um, anyway, I'm going to slide the cluster out and uh, I'll get back to you in two seconds. Okay, panel out. Still not cleared the steering wheel yet. Um, top came out first very gently and then uh, I had to unhook the connectors at the back first. I haven't uh, completely done one of these before. I replaced a bulb but I just reached in the back. I haven't pulled the whole thingy out so this is a new one for me. Let's get... Well, assuming I'm going to have to turn the steering wheel and hopefully not break anything while I'm trying to show you this. So I'm going to turn the steering wheel with my knee while I'm turning the gauge cluster with my hand. Slightly. There we go. And these connectors back here, in case you haven't seen them before. Okay, there's the part where it plugs in. And this will be up locked like this. And you'll simply push on, push on the pin and pull it down and it will push itself out. And to put it back in, you push the connector in, slide it up and it will lock in place. back of the cluster and then we're backwards so this is the bulb that's out right here I'm gonna have to get a pair of uh, needle nose pliers I'm not doing anything LED or weird to this I am just swapping the bulb so this will be a T10 um, I think it's a 194 I don't know the regular bulb size anymore since the metric LED stuff came out I don't remember those bulb sizes but it's just a regular these are there's three panel lights basically or two big ones and there's two or four small ones on the side these two and these two I think on the side the two main ones here and if one of them is gone half your your gauge is gonna be out so for me it's gonna be this one so I'm just gonna screw that counterclockwise pull it out pop the bulb out and be back in a second so I'm gonna do that and get back to two seconds okay so there's the bulb that's out it is a T10 bulb or a 194 bulb and that just pops. Can I do it one-handed? Uh, <laughs> no. It just pulls out of the socket and you push the new one in and then simply pop it in and turn. As you can see the little ears on it go in the little little holes, little ears in the holes and then quarter turn and the other done. And then just reverse the procedure to put it back in. Um, I'll show you when I'm done in two seconds. Well, about five minutes. Okay, don't stalk, talk to your neighbors while you're doing this because you will end up in the dark almost. Uh, ten minutes is ten minutes. Um, anyway, there you go. There's the light. It's even now. Except at the sides. I ended up... Oh, sorry. Um, both center bulbs. I put the new one in the center. Uh, the, the two side ones that light up the, the main gauges. Um, I've replaced the one. The other one, uh, I guess from all the jiggling blue, so I replaced it. And the newer ones are slightly brighter because they're probably a tiny bit higher voltage, like a one point two or voltage uh, wattage. Um, so I'm going to have to check the manual and find out exactly how many watts they should be, uh, or just replace the two side ones, far side ones. I don't know if it bothers me that much. They're slightly dimmer. 
Anyway, uh, putting it back together is the opposite. Shh. Quiet. The opposite of taking it apart. Uh, just be careful when you're putting... Let me turn back in one second. Sorry, I can't turn the flash on and off while the camera's on and running. Um, sorry, phone. Anyway, when you're putting it back in, just make sure to line up this pin with the top part. There's pins here, 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 and here. That you're going to have to line up. And of course, this last one that went down this hole, you're going to put those down in first and then push back and pop the top on um, after everything else is put together and your screws are all in the gauge cluster and everything, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching.